or welcome back to the 8th Concession. My name is Natalie. It's a beautiful, warm spring April day. And even though we can still get some pretty cold weather coming up, this is Southern Ontario after all, Zone 5B, but it is not too early to get some things in the garden and for that I am extremely excited. Um, as some of you who've been following me know, I started some Dutch onions from seed that I found um, online, the Stuttgarter Riesen onions, which I'm hoping are similar to the Dutch onion sets that you can buy, and because they're the best onions for me. They keep better than any. I have some in my cold cellar now that are still just as hard and perfect as the day I put them in there. So I've got those starts. I have been hardening them off so they can get ready to go in because truly that sort of thing can go in the ground as soon as the ground can be worked. And the ground can be worked. We've got some warm days coming up. I don't know what's going to happen in a week or two, but these crops should be able to handle it because they are cool weather crops. So I have leeks to plant, I have onions to plant, my cabbages, I'm hardening them off, they're not quite ready, I'm not going to plant them today. I also have some spinach seeds and I have some of my lettuce seeds. Um, so I'm going to do some of the beds. I probably have to get some of the compost that we collected last year that is still in the slug hut just to top off. You can see that these beds drop down a bit each year. So I'm going to add a bit of soil and get planting. But first there's just five or six weeds here. So I'm gonna get rid of the weeds. And then I'm gonna plant my onions. I also have a few of the onion sets here. Actually my son bought these for his garden and he didn't have enough space for all of them. So I'm going to plant a few more. And these are, actually it doesn't even say what kind these are. So we'll have to see what these turn out to be. So I've got three bags of compost down here. We had just put the extra in some of our chicken feed bags. So I brought them over. Now one of the things I want to use one of them for, it'll take a full bag, is I want to plant this potato. Those of you who watched my Can You Garden For Free video will know that I started this from just a potato peeling basically with just a little extra potato on it. And it's doing so well I want to get it in the garden. Now because I've moved my garden this year I don't think I have in-ground space but I do have now eight grow bags like this and I just got these at the dollar store but they've lasted more than one season so I have the four black ones from last year and I bought three more this year they happen to be green. Now I'm going to set this one behind bed number two because as those of you might remember who've been watching I want to extend this one this year. I still have to order the stones and do that so I don't want to put potatoes behind it and then have to move a big heavy bag. So I'm going to set this up behind bed number two. I'm going to get at least this one in the ground in this grow bag and then I'm going to dump the other two bags of soil. I think I'm going to put one in this bed because I'm going to plant some spinach near the front and then I think the other one that I've brought I'll put in this bed number two which is where I'm going to plant the onions and I might have to go get a one or two more. I think that's all we have. We have to go and get more compost this year um, for free from our landfill <laughs> as I said in my Kenya garden for free video. I don't just talk about it. That's what I do as well. If you can get free compost why wouldn't you use it? Uh, but it does mean a trip into town and filling up the van because we don't have a truck or a trailer so it's a bit of a chore. So potato bag first, then the spinach and then hopefully enough soil to put the onions in that I started from seed.
right here are the lettuce seeds that I grew under the cloche last fall. Now I'm just going to move them in a clump over to bed number two and put them right here because behind this trellis here is where I'm going to grow lettuce this year. So I'm just going to move that whole clump right over there and then put some more dirt here and plant some spinach. So that's it for today but I've got a lot done I've got my potato planted I've got my onions in that I grew from seed I have the few sets in that my son gave me that were left over I have spinach planted four rows in the other bed so it's looking good the cabbage and the leeks will have to wait for another day because I'm running out of time but before I go I want to show you something here we are back at the lettuce 
under the colossus. This is in the fourth bed where they seated themselves, but I want to show you. Look how well they're doing compared to the lettuce just outside. They're looking great. And this one too. Look at the growth on that. I'm very excited. I think the cloches are making a huge difference. I'm going to leave them there to grow till they're a bit bigger, but I'm going to have to use this garden space soon. But it's very exciting how the cloches are changing, how fast the lettuce grows. So thanks for joining me in the garden today. Bye for now. Thank you.